Uh, a large part of our audience also comes from the OH industry in India and yeah. of course. Um, so it'd be interesting to have your perspective on in the current context or in terms of the journey that you see ahead for your brand. Uh, where does OH stack up there? And more particularly today when we are beginning to see more digitalization of OH and more even programmatic advertising which where the contextual advertising also comes in. Uh, do you really see a brand such as yours uh, becoming more visible uh, in the OH or DOH space in the, in the coming times? I think that's a great question, Rajiv. In fact, uh, uh, OH is something which we have even tried a lot last year. Uh, see, uh, if I were to explain my business and my I, my demand generation channel, today, a lot of my demand is generated from corporates as a channel where Medibody is the preferred health and wellness partner for 700 top corporates in India, including almost all the top IT, ITS services, uh, financial companies, top FMCG companies in India, consulting companies. So what it means that their customers where I am the preferred health and wellness provider for uh, through our OPD wallet anywhere between 10,000 to 25,000 uh, for their employees or for their immediate dependents. I need to create a very localized awareness of the services. Right. That is where last year also we have used OH and experimented with OH. Uh, unfortunately, last year, uh, still a lot of these campuses didn't have people uh, returning back in full strength. Uh, it is only now, last two, three months, you have big names in IT like TCS, Infosys saying that no, you have to come and work from office. Work right. from home is not the most productive way to work for a young TG which needs to be trained. They also need to work very collaboratively. I think that shift you can see is happening. Now, while we did it last year from the perspective of, and by the way, we I will talk about digital OH slightly later. Yes. Uh, last year was more of a static OH, taking holdings around tech parks, taking holdings in key visible locations. Uh, where, by the way, the focus was not only on the brand campaign, the focus was also about creating awareness of the wallet, which is available. Right. A big challenge of, uh, for this corporates as well as for everybody is, uh, the younger TG even have they have a free health checkup, they may not even use the wallet because a 22 to year old guy who plays cricket over the weekends, who runs probably marathon, smokes and drinks with his friends, annual health check is probably the last thing in his mind. Uh, and this is a very, very pertinent business problem. So all right. the more is our ability to target uh, a communication which where the TG is clustered in small clusters around tech works, OH is a very important channel for us. Uh, last year we tried, it was not very effective uh, or I will not say not very effective but not effective as for our expectations primarily because uh, of not many people insisting on work from office or back to office kind of a thing. I think as we are seeing uh, this year end and I see uh, mostly all the corporates insisting on work from office. So that's where this again becomes something which is interesting for us to look at. Of course, when it comes to digital OH, I think the possibilities of digital OH is immense. Uh, I can have multiple creatives. Till yesterday when I was stuck with a static OH, I had to have one creative and the max I can do is probably replace it within a month but normally we keep it for till the time it sort of uh, 60 days 90 days till the time someone uh, it tears or there is a cyclone or someone tears it down or whatever it is it doesn't give me a possibility to target uh, the right set of audience at the right point of time what i'm trying to see is the amount of audience who will be exposed in the, the type of audience would be exposed in a morning may be different from the type of audience who is, who is exposed to the communication in afternoon and again maybe in the evening or night so take a, a example of say cyber hub in Gurgaon where a lot of big MNC corporates and our own clients are clustered in the morning to evening 
that office space uh, that the space of cyber hub and the restaurants zone all is catered for office going employees right from a medibody's perspective theoretically uh, talking to them about corporate health and wellness or asking them to check if they have a corporate health and wellness or creating urgency for a health check or a service all these are relevant communication to a corporate employee but in the evening it becomes that most of the families or young uh, younger audience couples etc come and frequent those restaurants pubs which are there so there the communication may shift and take a very different dimension so it opens up a lot of possibilities plus there is also an inherent ability to measure why this measure is more important is anything which you can measure you can iterate and improve i think that significantly increases for digital and uh, last but not the least i being a marketer at heart i think the possibilities of creativity in a digital environment is really really immense Absolutely. while i in my lifetime with the help of some very well known uh, uh, masters in this field or agencies in this field have been able to pull amazing uh, innovations in static but these are nowhere comparable where a fully dynamic uh, digital wage today can give in terms of the depth and the effect actually you can stop traffic and i think there have been instances where traffic has stopped to watch the digital oh in a express way i think it was in bombay if i am not wrong at some point of time i think one year back or two years back i think that's the possibility of it uh, and we are very much open to it the only thing is like it has to be from a lens where it can justify that investment because it's a choice for me right. the opportunity i am after is really really huge uh, the interventions which you do have to be fine tuned uh, versus what is required for the business and the brand and what is required for demand generation at that point of time absolutely very very interesting and very encouraging also for the oh industry uh, coming from you uh, these observations uh, shall will my final question really uh, we you have already touched upon aspects of omni channel marketing and integrated communications uh, today uh, with the onset of doh and we expect this doh to really grow in india do you really see a time when brands such as yours will start to look at digital media advertising and digital oh advertising from a single prism yes i think today what we are struggling and this is more of a struggle uh, there is no one consolidated uh, place where i can look at a data uh, while digital space is also a world garden uh, but there are different attribution tools which are third party tools or first party tools True. which we have built uh, to sort of which still helps me look at a direct or a indirect attribution do a market mix modeling study uh, on my marketing spends and link my marketing spends both from a brand uh, lens in terms of how the brand funnel is moving and top of the matrix is moving as well as from a revenue lens i also being a business leader apart from my marketing head i am also very much interested on what i am getting uh, today this quarter as well as building for my business in the mid and long term apart from just pure brand matrices i think what we have figured out in digital is a way to still do a market mix modeling digital as well as some of the other ones may not be 100% accurate but even in television or even in for that matter irs bar for irs they also give you certain data points now one of the big challenges for marketers like me and i'm sure other marketers will be watching it will agree for a oh or a digital oh it is like each vendor coming and quoting or each supplier coming and quoting a number uh, there is no single consolidated whole sort of data where the maker and the checker is different today if someone who is making the data is the one who is presenting it uh, obviously uh, the marketer is not very convinced or the marketer then comes into a haggling mode so right. whatever you say is 100 i will discount it by 50% mm-hmm. then i will negotiate uh, this becomes something which rather than the immense possibility of value addition it becomes it starts with a place of mistrust 
right uh, so i think if there is some kind of a centrally validated data who doesn't have any interest in one supplier over another but is able to replace represent the data in a way where it is at least perceived to be neutral or as much realistic as possible i think from the buyer side people like us who are intelli- interested in a digital wage or a wage and i explain the reasons why this is something which is very interesting also in the overall channel mix i think this is something which is very exciting for me if there is a centralized way where it is reliable an industry body published data which we can access real time and which all the suppliers will quote in some way uh, when they make a pitch for a large deal yes indeed sir well absolutely and i think the indian oh industry is cognizant of these requirements and these expectations from brand advertisers but we're beginning to see early signs of change and with uh, the indian out of home advertising industry also looking at uh, adopting a common currency and uh, a variety of other tools that will come in that will give greater transparency and greater accountability to brand advertisers such as yours uh, it's been an amazing time talking to you shabal and your insights your observations are fantastic great takeaways for the industry and i look forward to more opportunities to have this conversation with you but thanks so much for your time today hey thanks raji i think it's been great interacting and discussing with you hope to sort of have more such interactions with you in the future